Okay, this is some basic probability rules. Uh, the first thing is, is the probability of some event E is equal to the number of successes divided by the number sampled. We can write this as the probability of an event, see this right here, the capital P with the parentheses around the E is read the probability of an event is equal to the number of successes divided by the number sampled. Again, the probability with the parentheses around the E is read the probability of an event. Now, you can relate to that a little bit because you've probably seen in algebra before this uh, symbol right here, F of X. So we read this. This doesn't mean F times X. This means F of X. It's a function of, of X. And this is the same thing. You read this probability of an event. That event could be what's the probability of randomly selecting a female or whatever you're looking for. So that's uh, that's how you read that. So here's an example. This one is what is the probability of randomly selecting a female from a class of 25 students and 10 are female? Well, we could write this the probability of female. This P right here, capital P, stands for probability of is what's inside of parentheses, probability of selecting a female. Well, the number of females that we have, that's the number of successes, is 10. We were told that in the problem. And it's out of the total number sampled. Well, the total number of possibilities that we have here is 25 students. So this answer is 10 out of 25. Now, you can reduce that. 5 goes into 10 2 times. 5 goes into 25 5 times. So you get 2 fifths. And if you take 2 divided by 5, you get 0.4. And 0.4 is the same as 40% because you can move the decimal point two places to the right to switch a decimal to a percentage. And that's critical to know. So uh, if we move this two places to the right, we get 40%. Now, uh, some questions will say write your answer as a fraction or a reduced fraction or a decimal or a percent. All these are equivalent. And sometimes the answer is uh, it doesn't matter how you write it, but just read it and see how uh, it wants you to write it. Most of the time, it's as a decimal. And sometimes it's as a, uh, and fewer times, it's as a percent or a fraction. OK. so. Other general facts to know is that the sum of the probabilities for all the possible events always add up to 100%. For example, the probability, there's two possibilities for gender, male or female. And if you know that 60% are female, the remaining 40% are male, and they have to add up to 100%. If there's three possibilities, like you either have green eyes, blue eyes, or brown eyes, the probability of those three things have to add up to 100% because that covers everybody if there's only three possibilities. And we can write this as the summation. This right here is a capital sigma. It's a capital letter S in the Greek uh, alphabet. So this means sigma, or the sum of all your probabilities, add up to 100%. And 100% is the same as the number 1. So the sum of your probabilities always adds up to 100%. And again, this symbol right here, this Greek symbol, is called sigma. There's actually two sigmas, a capital sigma, which this one is, and a small case sigma. And you'll see that later on in the course. Small case sigma is used for population standard deviation. So also know that a probability is always between 0 and 1. We can write it that 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 1. The probability of something can't be 8 or something like that. It, it could be 8 out of 25 or 8 out of, of 100, but it can't be 8. So in terms of percentages, it's always between 0% and 100%. It also can't be negative. So it can't be below 0, can't be bigger than 1 or 100%. Okay, the next problem here says, what is the, this is 1B, so it's referring to 1A. So what is the probability of not selecting a female? Okay, the probability of not selecting a female can be written this way, probability of F for female. But here's the important thing with this little hash mark. This little hash mark just is a fast way of saying not. So the probability of not selecting a female is equal to 1 minus the probability that you do select a female. That's because there's only two possibilities, either female or male. So in the last problem, we got that the probability of female was 0.4. So to get the probability that a person is not female is 1 minus 0.4, or 60%, 0.6. So the probability of something not happening, the probability of an event not happening, is always equal to 1 minus the probability that the event does happen. And that's a really handy uh, 
thing to know for a lot of problems. Uh, sometimes the probability of calculating the probability that something won't happen is much easier than calculating the probability it will happen. So we'll stop this uh, video right here at this point.